Hi, it's Steve Lycan with Rockwell Automation, and today we will take five to learn about the Safe Zone 3 Area Scanner, which uses SIP safety to provide machinery safety over Ethernet. We will also look into some distinct advantages of SIP safety over using a traditional safety device into a traditional safety relay. For instance, input, logic, and output can be distributed as far as Ethernet could take you. You will also see that configuration of the Safe Zone 3 is done purely within an add-on profile within Studio 5000, so therefore no additional software is required. And then we'll also use the control system to select the operating scenario, uh, depending on the needs of the production run. For a simulated production scenario where the Safe Zone 3 is protecting two sides, of a palletizing cell. The safe zone is connected via SIP safety to guard logics, which includes this panel view. Guard logics uses a configurable redundant output module instruction with this armor block guard I.O. to two safety control relays and corresponding inputs for discrepancy testing. And this green LED is simulating safe torque off to a drive or these two safety control relays could be very large safety contactors directly to motors. And this tower light is very typical of an on machine indication where in this case green is the machine is running, red is machine stop command or demand, and yellow is for a warning field. So as this is palletizing, what if a, one of the pallets was full and we wanted to only protect one side, control system very easily could say, hey, we have a pallet that's ready, let's only protect one side, but give a warning on the other side so you can come in and pick up that pallet while the other one is still operational, but still protecting the palletizing side, and then vice versa, when the other pallet is full, come in and the control system can select the opposite scenario to warn on one side and shut down on the other side. Now let's look into the configuration of the Safe Zone 3. In the introduction, I commented that all configuration is done via Studio 5000 and an add-on profile, thus requiring no additional software. As you can see, we've added the Safe Zone 3 into the I.O. tree and get this add-on profile. Most of this add-on profile is quite standard and should look familiar to you, except for this field configuration tab. This is where you set the configuration for the type of application, is it stationary or mobile? Is it horizontal or vertical? Are we protecting hand resolution, leg resolution, that type of thing? In the fields tab is where we configure or draw the protection and the warning fields. As you can see, I have this warning field in yellow and my two left and right protection fields. And you also see the boundary, in this case of my home office, of the machine that you're protecting. And in the monitoring cases is where you can figure how are these fields used for the scenario. If you remember from the demo, I had scenario number three protecting both sides of the palletizer and scenarios one and two only protecting one side or the other. Down below the outputs are where you set the outputs that are then used in the safety task of guard logics to then protect the machine via logic. Thank you for the time to take five to learn about our new Safe Zone 3 SIP Safety Laser Scanner. To learn more, please go to rockwellautomation.com and search Safe Zone. And as always, your Rockwell Automation salesperson and distributor will be happy to support you.